Um, she's a great speaker, so. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> um, yeah, so the play uh, started um, two and a half years ago at this point, it's been a long road. Um, with, uh, I used to work as a teacher, this is relevant information, um, and my husband uh, at that time, when I started working the play, was founding a startup. Um, and I was out in Silicon Valley in Mountain View. He was doing a startup incubator, and I was staying in the house with them on my teaching spring break uh, while they were working on the, the basics of the company. Um, and I was really struck by the uniqueness of that place and the people in it of Silicon Valley. Um, they are the most optimistic people I've ever been around. Like, they genuinely believe that if they work hard enough, they can fix most of the world's problems, whether it's the smallest thing, like it's hard to find parking spaces, to the largest thing, like how can we make you know affordable blood testing widely available, and like how do we uh, like fix global warming? Like they, they're like people can solve problems. We can all solve these problems, and we can all get rich doing it. And they don't see any conflict between those two. Like those things go hand in hand. Like we're gonna make the world better, and we're gonna get super rich, and it's gonna be amazing. Um, and I was just really struck by these like, very energetic, ambitious minds and, and by how much change they believed was possible and how much they were unwilling to be satisfied with the way things are. Whereas I, as a like person with a background studying history and teaching history, have this like, totally ridiculous fake nostalgia for old things and I'm very afraid of change. I find change very scary. Um, and I have this tendency to assume that if we change things, we might end up with something worse. And they have this tendency to say, like, look at how bad things are. Like, why are we settling for the way things are? Like, why don't we try to make them better? Um, and the tension between those two attitudes was very interesting to me. Um, and I just knew I wanted to write a play set amongst people like that and to tell their story. Um, and I think that a lot of times when we see stories about tech, uh, especially in theater, it's often done Either it's about like the consumer experience, like, oh my god, we're all on our phones all the time, and like, or it's done with a lot of suspicion. And I have a lot of, in spite of my total fear of them, like real love and admiration for these people and wanted to show the world through their eyes, but also through other people's eyes. Because um, I like to write about whatever <laughs> confuses me. Um, I like to write about things where like people are arguing and I agree with both of those people. I can't pick who's right, I think they're both right. And, and that was uh, very clear to me from the beginning. Um, and I had a really good teacher, uh, a wonderful teacher, Renna Groff, who said, you should write about what terrifies you and what seduces you. And this was both of those things at the same time. So uh, that was the initial inspiration and then wrote uh, the first draft of my first semester of graduate school. Um, which was a draft with many imperfections <laughs> and some little promising bits. Um, and it's been a long road of development ever since that uh, many of you have been involved in in like, wonderful and crucial ways. Um, and I think that what's been wonderful about the development process is that it's been really steadily inching its way closer and closer and closer to a more honed depiction a lot of what I've been working on is trying to, we talked a lot about keeping the play fair to both sides, that like you shouldn't get to come away feeling like this side's wrong or this side's wrong, that they should both make the best case for themselves and you should come away feeling like you learned a lot but there wasn't, there isn't an obvious right answer. Um, I also have been uh, delving a lot into making sure, and one way of doing that is making sure that all of the characters get as much of a rich, full life as possible. Um, that we, these are, it's not about one powerful and ambitious person, it's really about uh, four or six powerful and ambitious people who all want to change the world and all want to have a really, really big impact and letting them all have that voice and, and get their story out. Um, 
and also uh, one of the big things that has emerged um, has been in talking about education, like that how much it's become also, like not just a play about tech was the initial subject, but a play about education and the state of education in America. Um, and in talking about the state of education in America and in the promise of technology, one of the big things that I was forced to confront, because you know, coming from a teaching background, I don't want to see the dark side of this, but like the issue of bias in education has been a big issue um, that the play has gradually taken on more and more. Um, the issue of like, does technology, because our education system is so unequal, does technology address that uh, specifically? Does it offer an actual equal playing field? Um, or does it offer not enough mentorship for students who already aren't getting enough one-on-one -on -one time with adults? Unclear. Um, and, uh, but so the issue of sort of like the, the dark side of education has uh, come to the fore a bit more. Um, and the, the technology has taken on a larger and more vibrant life in the play. I've been doing a ton of research on ed tech and um, the, it says it's uh, from the recent past to the near future is the setting. And that has become really true. What they're doing by the end of the play is stuff that everyone's talking about and no one's built it yet. It doesn't exist. Like So that's fun for the design team because it doesn't exist. Um, but uh, And so we start at the beginning of the play with stuff that people were doing five years ago. And now we end with stuff that is a vision of what could happen. Um, so that's been a big 